Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about legacies. Uh, first of all, I want to address something. The reason I'm wearing the same shirt as uh, th this upcoming video that you're about to see is because this is filmed on the same day as the second episode of Flauf Makes Friends Flauf, but a few hours later. So, um, I hope I'm not too loud. But what I want to say is that we're revisiting legacies. Now, I if you can remember, I talked about legacies a while back, but that was one of the videos that unfortunately had to get um, privated uh, because it the show itself, um, I, I was worried about certain aspects of the show um like the fact that it does focus on a school and um you know a, a school of kids and um even though a lot of the actors that are on the show are uh are like 20s you know 20 something it's still to me i feel like i I have to put like a warning out saying, hey, um, this show may talk about minors. Um, so we're going to try to not talk about the really young people on the show. We're going to mainly talk about the main characters who actually like have a plot and stuff. And um, so the first season, amazing the best season I've ever seen of, um, of legacy so far. Uh, I think that, um, season one was just perfect. And I can remember thinking like, well, f well first of all, I, I want to tell you how I got into this show. A, a little bit of backstory is I, um, I watched the originals and I loved the originals and up until the very last season. I think the very last season was just unnecessary and I didn't really like it. Um, I watched legacies and I ended up not sorry. I, I watched the originals and I thought, okay, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to watch legacies because around that time, that was when it was getting announced and, um, you know, I was like, all right, I, I don't know if I'm going to watch this show because I don't know if I can deal with a show about, you know, about the, the new generation of, um, <sighs> nice and basey, the new generation of supernaturals. I, I didn't know if I really would care enough about it. Um, I'm going to turn you guys on a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know if you, you know, like if I was going to be interested in the show. So what I did was I, um, I looked into it. I thought, okay, well, the first episode airs tonight. And which at that time it was like airing that night. And I was like, all right, I'm going to give this a go because I was bored and I didn't have anything to watch. I ended up liking it. And, um, you know, and I thought originally that the first season was a little bit rocky and I thought that I had a lot of problems. And now it's like I, I don't think that anymore um, because sorry, I got something stuck in my teeth. I didn't think that anymore because, um, despite season one, it did ha it did have its flaws, but to me it was consistent, and that that to me drew me in, because we were learning about the Malivore plot, we were learning about all the interesting things about the show and what the show can do, and and um, and how the show progressed, and each monster was sort of different and unique, and. And it kind of just it you know like there was all these twists and turns that you didn't really see coming and 
and honestly, if I could grade it, I would give it an A plus because it was a great first impression. Um, especially that finale, um, which was a big grand thing. It was like, woo, you know, this is where I'm going to probably get into spoilers. So let's just be real here. So I want to talk about the characters real fast. First of all, we got Hope Michelson. And if you have watched the originals, then you know her backstory and you know who she is. She's a Michelson. And um, she's like the new generation of Michelsons. And so that's her story, you know. Um, she's witnessed a lot of death in her life. And um, Hope's character uh, has gone through a lot. Uh, I, you know, one thing that I got to say about Hope is that they didn't really do a good job with casting her in season five. Um, I think Daniel Rose Russell didn't really know much about the character at the time. She's gotten a lot better, don't get me wrong. But I feel like at that time, she really didn't know what material she was working with. So she just kind of went with whatever she went with. And there was a lot of stories where it's like they made Hope the bad guy in a way. And I, I didn't really like that because it, it to me it just felt like a, there was a lot of unnecessary deaths just due to this. And But she's come a long way since then. And in the first season, you definitely get a good grasp about a lot of stuff. Um, <clears throat> then we have Landon, who is, uh, oh, by the way, Hope is a tribrid, but, um, the problem with Hope is that we never really get to see her vampire side because she hasn't activated it yet, which is a big plot twist because why just why um the uh so lennon is her love interest and he ends up stealing a knife on accident and you know that's kind of like the big kicker of the first season is we're you know and the it, the knife turns out to be an artifact and blah blah blah, blah. I'm not trying to spoil it for you guys. This is a show that I actually want you to check out. Uh, at least the first season. Because the first season is great. Um, and then we get into... Um, the Saltzman twins. And the fact that like the merge is, a, is something that they have to do at the age of 22. To find a new leader for the Gemini Coven. And that is something that is like really big on the show and um to me i just feel like it's it's just interesting you know it's it's, it's an interesting plot device and uh really you get to see some of that in season two as well then we got a lark saltzman who is the saltzman's um father who is also the headmaster of the salvatore school uh He's played by Matthew Davis. Um, then we got MG and Caleb and Raph and a whole bunch of other characters. Uh, so let's skip to season two. All right, so here we are at season two. And you'd think that because of that huge cliffhanger that they would have like like this big premiere right it was the worst season premiere you could ever have oh by the way keep the necromancer in uh in your mind for a second okay because he he has a story in season two uh he can rise people that's that's his thing. He's 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 a necromancer, um, and so, 
about that. Um, when it comes to season two, the best thing I could tell you is that it's just like Windows 10. It's an inconsistent mess. I, I mean, it starts out pretty good. Um, people forgot hope, and uh, there's just this, like, big, um, like, story and everything about that, and it lasts up until episode six. We get a, um, a surprise visit from a Michelson that we haven't seen since the originals, and, you know, that's really nice. Um, we get a lot of good things, but we also get a lot of bad things as well. Like Chris Wood appearing, which honestly, his episodes I can just skip. Uh, there was a Santa Claus episode, which I actually liked. And there was a Cupid episode, which I actually liked as well. Um, there's a lot of good episodes in season two, but not too many. You know, like there was supposed to be 20 episodes in season two, and it just... So, season two had to end early because of the Rona. And so, because of that, we have to um, realize that season three picks up where season two left off. And it kind of continues season two up until episode four of season three, I think. Because then episode five which is the one that we just watched last Thursday, is um, is very interesting. Uh, oh, also, there's Ethan and Maya. Sorry, Ethan and Maya and Sheriff Mac. So those are the new characters that we have in Season 2. Um, and in Season 3, uh, which is technically Season 2, um, the necromancer kind of ruins it for me because his plan is just so stereotypical, so boring, and he's not an inspiring character, and I really don't like his character at all. I feel like he just he doesn't do a good job with his character and um you know, like with like I mean the actor who plays him does an amazing job, but I think that um the necromancer having that much control over the show just kind of ruins it for me. Um, they also kind of ruined the Malibor plot. Um, I'm still watching season three, but honestly, um, I think the worst episode, well, the worst, the two worst episodes of season two, in my opinion, was the... Um, like it was like a magical episode where it was like oh no it was the fantasy episode where hope is in Josie's subconscious and then it was and then the other one was um, Salvatore the Musical I hated those two episodes um, however, there was, there is good episodes out there, like the episode that just came out as I'm recording this, which was episode five of season three, which is the first episode of season three, which it's confusing, but yeah, it's the first official episode of season three. Um, and so I, I liked it because it brought back season one vibes and that's something that I've been really wanting for the show to, to get back to that older style where it just kind of succeeded because Legacies is a unique show. And when it embraces that uniqueness in the right way, it does really well. And you can really see it do really well. So, and that's really that. Um, and... Now, the other thing is, um, will I be, um, making, not making, but will I, if I could rate it 
I would say, like I said, season one, an A+. Plus. Season two, an F. Season three, to be determined. And I'll leave you guys on that. If you enjoyed this video, thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.